Uncle Gabe, the birds have seen. You just didn't die for the birds. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, hello, Poppy. Uncle JJ here. I want you to meet my pet dog, Mandy. She's 10 years old, but in dog years, she's 70. Oh, you're so old, Mandy. Now, I really like your question. Do animals sin? Well, because Mandy here, she can be very, very naughty. Right, Mandy? Well, the other day, hey, Mandy rummaged through the rubbish bin and ate all the leftover food in there. Oh, yo, naughty Mandy. Ay, yo. She was not well for two days after that. But she's okay now. Naughty Mandy, naughty. Anyway, the short answer to your question is no. Animals can do wrong and naughty things. But they cannot sin. Sin is something only humans do. Now let me explain. I am a human. And Mandy here, she's an animal. We both have things in common. We both live in a world created by God. We were both created by God. Hmm. But then we have differences too. In the first book of the Bible called Genesis, it says... So God created human beings in his image. In the image of God, he created them. That's in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So you and I, we are unique and different to the animals all around us. We are special because God made us special. And we are special because unlike animals, we are able to know God and supposed to be God's friend. God made us so that we can rule the world with him as our king. Now some animals are really smart. Are you smart, Mandy? Hmm? Are you smart? Okay. But even the smartest animal cannot understand and know God. They were just not created that way. Right, Mandy? Hmm? You see, in the Bible, it also says that humans have a very special responsibility. It says that the human should rule over the fish in the sea and over the birds in the sky, rule over every living thing that moves on the earth. Now, so God made humans to take care of this world on his behalf. Like how your teacher at school takes care of you while you are in class on behalf of your parents. Oh, sadly, Adam and Eve were tricked by Satan. They decided to disobey God. Now you see, that's what sin is. Sin is saying no to God by living life our way, not God's way. We sin when we don't want God to be king. Sin is wanting to be king of our own lives. Sin is more than doing naughty things. Sin is wanting to live life your way and not God's way. And that's how we sin and say no to God. That's why animals don't sin. Sin is more than doing naughty things. It's saying no to God. And that's something animals just can't do. Only people like you and I can say to God that I want to live my way and not God's way. But then how come the animals do naughty things? Hey, Mandy? Hmm? Well, sin was so terrible, and is terrible, that has been even affected the animals living in this world. That's why animals can do bad things too. It's because man's first sin and say no to God. That, that's why sin has affected this creation too. Thankfully, we look forward to a day when Jesus is going to make everything right. A day is coming when even animals will not be naughty or do bad things. Now look, the Bible says this, that there will be a day when wolves will live in peace with lambs and leopards will lie down to rest with goats. Calves, lions and young bulls will eat together 
and a little child will lead them. Isn't that amazing? A world where Jesus will make all things new and good and where animals and people can live in peace with each other and with God? A world without sin, a world without suffering or bad things. Now that's a great future to look forward to, right? So that's the answer to Poppy's question. Do animals sin? No. Animals can do wrong and naughty things, but they cannot sin. Sin is saying no to God, something only humans like you and I can do. Thanks for the great question, Poppy. Mandy, you're sleeping already. Huh? Say bye to Poppy. Say bye bye, okay? Okay? Kiss. Kiss. Mm -hmm.